American football has evolved into one of the world's most popular sports, although it wasn't always so. There were many hardships and arguments amongst people as to whether football should continue or not. Much debate and diplomacy went into deciding this, from to Lashley to football, soccer, and rugby. Football has evolved so much from the ancient Aztecs to what it is today. All of these sports that were combined to make American football have complicated player history regarding player safety, have also impacted many people's lives both positively and negatively. Because of some safety concerns in the early 20th century, American football nearly died. But because of the actions of many people, one person being President Theodore Roosevelt, football is alive today and is one of the most popular sports in the world. It all started with the ancient game to Lashley, where the incentive was your leader being killed from the gods. You know, that's a little too much gore for me. Let's go to the mid-1800s. 1869. Walter Kim creates the game of football. The first game was Rutgers and Princeton. When Harvard was introduced to the mix of soccer and rugby, they created one of the deadliest plays ever. The Flying Wedge! What does that even mean? The Flying Wedge was created by Harvard professors. The players would all run at the weakest player in a wedge formation, and Harvard would usually score. But this play had a big problem that was discovered. Oh no, what was the problem? People started dying, and that wasn't the only play that was killing people. Colleges had lots of strategies. 1901 to 1905. Reportedly, there were 18 deaths in 159 serious injuries, the majority coming from college students. People started complaining in the community. Top news articles were on the case. Even the president had to get involved. President Roosevelt summoned the top coaches and leaders of collegiate football teams, Yale, Harvard, and Princeton, to the White House. October 9th, 1905. Roosevelt then negotiates new rules for the game. Later on, teams send out a statement with new rule changes and priorities for the game. Keep games safe. Some rule changes include the invention of the forward pass and the onside kick, which revolutionized the game. Early on, to protect players' heads, the first helmets were created, but they were optional. The 1920s. Most players use helmets that are made out of leather. 1939. The first plastic helmet was created by the Riddell Company. 1953. During this time, Otto Graham had his face torn at by another player, sparking the addition of face shields to helmets. Graham went on to pass for 2,000 yards in 1947, 1948, 1949, 1951, 1952, 1953, and 1954. That's pretty impressive. The 1970s and 80s. Helmet technology continued to improve, and face masks became more elaborate. Early 2000s. Riddell and Shute introduced new helmets that were designed around the head center of gravity. This design greatly reduced the risk of concussion for players. Even this couldn't save players from deadly brain injury, creating future problems. Such as the problem with Philip Adams killing six people due to CTE. CTE? What's CTE? CTE is a brain regeneration that is caused by repeated head traumas and is not completely understood yet. Dr. Bennett O'Malley, the person who first found CTE, is trying to raise awareness for it. He said that individuals who have had more than one concussion are more likely to get this condition. Although players put their bodies and health at risk, their views are still not accepted in the community. Like Colin Kaepernick taking the knee during the national anthem. This Super Bowl quarterback's demonstration caused such a controversy that no NFL team would sign him. For all of these reasons, football seems too dangerous to many people. And the diplomatic end may never come.